Oh, there's something here. Oh, hi, welcome back, everybody. Back to game devs play games. You need What's to hurry. Happening? What is up. happening? Hurry up. Uh, oh, I was uh, on the. Oh. So the screen stops moving when you're on the edge of edge of the the screen. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realize I was at the edge of the screen, so I thought while I was under there that I just wasn't moving. Oh, something was blocking it. my way. But, uh, hey, welcome, everybody, to hopefully the finale of this. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Anything oh, happen? my God. Woo! It wasn't so bad. I only took <laughs> one damage during that whole thing. I thought the microphone got a Oh, well. Well, you probably sounded funny for the beginning. It's fine. I sound funny all the time. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, wait, did I? Oh, oh. all right. Okay. So that actually, oh. I, I have a little bit of issues with you simply because it. you can't see it. Yeah. And maybe the expectation is that the player will use the double jump and kind of scope it out or they'll die and just see it. Um, but you should never design things <laughs> that require the player to die to yeah. be able to figure it out. Unless that's the concept of the entire game. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it just feels cheap and unfair. True story. Um, and while in this instance it's relatively minor, I, I it's still worth pointing out. Yeah. Boom jams. Okay. Also, uh, I think at this point collecting skulls is pointless because I don't think there's a shop, and if there is, you really have to wonder why the shop guy is even here. Yeah, it's true. Oh, oh. just too tall, which is probably the whole point of that. Oh, the final boss in this is really going to be what takes up most of the episode. I'm betting you this really? already. It's hard. Like, unfair Oof. hard. Oh, it took me man. a really long time to beat it. I might have even just given up <laughs> in my nice. personal playthrough. But we're not going to give up in this, so... Never going to give you up. Huh? Never going to give, never going to give... Do not rickroll our audience, Kujo. Sorry, guys. Do not, Kujo. Kujo. Do, do not do this Bye. to me right now. <laughs> there was a, a blooper from The Office where there was some intense scene going on like that. And Steve Crow's like, All right, you have to control yourself right now. You know, I haven't really <coughs> seen much of that show. I only watched the bloopers. Nothing against the show. It's oh, just, boy. It oh, boy. It wasn't really something I was a fan of. That is fair. To each their own. Yeah. Out of here. Squid thing. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there's a shop. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. After this, the skulls are pointless. Yeah. Because you can't. Yeah, I don't think you can backtrack either. Yeah. So does that so. mean this is the halfway point? Um, more or less. I uh. think. I think it might be more like two thirds of the way through. Okay. Um, it depends on how much you you constitute the uh, the boss as you know. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oops. Well, well, how about that? I had five. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, once again, we're... Oh, maybe this is the end. Oh, there we go. This is the end. And I'm already dead. This is the final boss, though. What the hell just killed you? I think it was... That? Oh, it must have been. It randomly selects um, which direction it's going to start. I think it's based on where he's looking. Um, but this is another one where you have to kill him with... Yeah, yeah, it was definitely that little oh, man. blast. Yeah, I'm having flashbacks to Titan Souls. Oh. This is... How did you get hurt there? I... It's insta death. Oh, it's not insta death. I thought it was. Nope. Oh, you just had one. Yeah, I had one heart because you know I'm great at this. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Oh shit, shit. Um, these you only collect one bone whenever you uh. pick these up. Shoot. Uh. It's also incredibly difficult to get onto this side without taking damage. Oh boy, oh boy. Careful, careful, careful. And this isn't even all of it. Seriously? Yup, there is a second form. There might even be a third. Uh, there really needs to be a little uh, bit of a health droppage, I think. There we oh, go. Oh, fuck this. Okay, okay, fuck okay. Fuck this. Up. 
fuck it. Okay, there's Sorry. there's a there's a tr I... there's a trick to it. I think if you're in a certain spot, it makes it a lot easier, and you just have to time your jumps at that point. So that's what I think I need to figure out, and that's kind of the same thing with most of the bosses, at least. Um, of course, if I can not lose all of my life before we get to that point, that'll make it a lot easier to figure out. I do like that this game doesn't really have one of those like timer things before the objects fade away. Uh, yeah, actually, I agree with that. So, okay, I think this is probably a good... <laughs> I think this is probably a good point to also start talking about kind of our final thoughts about the game as a whole. Um, because we might be here for a little while. Yeah. Um, instead of setting on a, a blank credit screen at the end. That's fair. <laughs> um, so... Honestly, the game is pretty well designed. I, 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 I like the difficulty. Um... I like that it's sort of reminiscent of, like, Castlevania and such like that. Um, in that, like, kind there's of. a certain... A, a little bit. I'd say the level design is very different than Castlevania. Oh, yeah, no, I meant, like, the, the active, um... Ooh. The, the... Well, maybe not. I don't know. I just... I get a distinctly Castlevania sort of feel to the th theme of the main character, maybe? I don't know, but... Um, the level design is pretty good. I like that each level really was varied. Um, and there was nothing really too similar about one another, except other than, like, rehashing the enemy types, which is totally fine. Yeah, uh, and I, I think the level design, too, in this game in particular, is a really good example of, like, um, I'd say, I'd categorize it as, like, not great design, not bad design, but just good design. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot that, that he did really right, and a lot that I think that he kind of could have done a lot better on um but in a way i think that's kind of that that's part of what makes this game good to talk about from a game design perspective because i think there's a lot to learn about the the flaws in this game yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> i also applaud you because you've been torturing chris so well done thank you and trust me, folks, like, I'm bad at games in general, um, so I'm, and, but because I've played through this, I might be making, I might make this game look a little bit easier than it actually is, but I hope that if any of you guys pick up this game, you do enjoy it. Yeah. That's the thing, this game is enjoyable, there's nothing, there's no glaring issues that, that's, you know, really, like, no. game-breakingly wrong with it. Yeah, and all things, um, I think that's... Something really good to point out is that there really were no game-breaking things yeah. going on in the design. Um, what I like is that each enemy is fleshed out. The art is fantastic. Art the is art, great. The, the, the enemy's music, behavior. The sound, too. I think the sound, the sound design is, is fantastic. It really did keep with the theme. Mm -hmm. um, I think each enemy's behavior is individual enough um, to warrant... Um, different designs for, for different enemies uh, from level to level um, while still using maybe some similar mechanics here and there. Um, I did like that there wasn't any real rehash of a specific type of bird or like zombie or anything like that. When you went into a new level, the only consistent thing was you. And I think that was really cool. Yeah, I would agree with that. The, um, the bosses were, were definitely interesting. Um, I do see what you're saying, though. Each boss does seem to have a sort of little trick uh, to make things easier. Um, which I think in, in this game is, is sort of needed. You know, like, uh, what was it? Um, actually, it sort of takes a note from Mega Man. Obviously, you're not using a specific power-up or ability to get that crazy extra damage, but there is something about the boss that makes it easier to encounter and deal with. And I think that's actually w one of the main reasons I compare this game to Joe and Mac is because that's very much how the bosses in Joe and Mac worked too. Mm. Um, there was, there were, the bosses were just straight up difficult. Um, having the right tool for the job definitely made it easier. Um, but there was a, a good, there's always, always a trick to, um, I, don't, I don't know, beating the boss, having a yeah. good strategy. Whoa, that's not That normal. was weird. That yeah. was a glitch. He was like a booger that just wouldn't fall out. That's something else 
that's probably worth pointing out is that this game is actually pretty solid. I, I really haven't seen many glitches or, or bugs in it. There were a couple times where I noticed, like, what was it, the, the battle with the, um, the mammoth? Where the things would pop out of the wall, in that one hole in the wall. There were times where you would respawn and go back in there, but the hole in the wall would still be there, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. But beyond that, and beyond the little thing with this guy, um, not going into floor mode right away. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a pretty rock-solid game, yeah, yeah. Well done. Very well done. Especially for a one-man team. I don't actually know what they built the game with, um, but whatever it was, it was, uh, it did good. Alright, here we go. Yes! And you found mm. a... Oh, the, a lady. A, a maiden. A real, real... <laughs> in the flesh maiden. Found? No, no, just leave it. <sighs> Alright, we did it! Oh, we did cool. It. There's little yeah, babies. They, they make a little family. Family yeah, fan. Rogue Legacy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, no, this was, this was cool. Um, yeah. I like that the sole motivation was that Oh, my, my lover, or my mate died. Well, let's go find another one. <laughs> and uh, every single one you came across died except for this one, which you rescue finally. You know, prehistoric era. Yeah, I right? think that's cool. Cave, cave, well, really caveman era, because yeah. they weren't I around. I also thoroughly appreciate the cave women have bikinis. <laughs> well, it's like the, the loincloth, except for the chest, and then the... Yeah. I don't know. No, this is cool. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, the art was great, the concept was great, the theme was fantastic. And, uh, and I think the best thing was it's that the feel of the game was, was well done. Yeah. Like, it was designed to be challenging, it was designed to be an interesting platformer. I think, um, like, despite some of the design flaws, it, it was fun. And yeah. it, it delivered exactly the experience I think they were hoping to. So... Uh, I have a question of the day. Sure. Is there any part throughout this playthrough where the theme sort of got lost in the level? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really good question. In my opinion, I didn't think there was really anyone. I think Maybe the, the, the final... Close, yeah, the closest I think would be probably that final level. Yeah. And that's when we talked about pacing and kind of how it changed up the total methodology yeah. of playing. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this. This was cool to watch. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for watching. If you have any requests for games for us oh, to play in the future, I didn't realize that. See the kids' eyes? One of them's they're, they're out. like out. Well, yeah, it's pixel art. It's scary. I don't know. That's what you got to do when you got like uh, three pixels to work with. That's fair. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next series. See ya. Bye. Bye. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>